theorem 9.6 is a reflection in intersecting lines theorem. So this first one was a reflection in parallel lines. This one's a reflection in intersecting lines. All right, what this tells us is if lines K and M intersect at a point P. All right, so we'll draw lines K and M. And their intersection is point P. Then a reflection in K. Okay, so we're reflecting in K first. Followed by a reflection in M. So now we're reflecting in M is the same as, and let's look at this, so to go from green to red, it's the same as a rotation about point P. And we find that the angle of the rotation is 2x degrees, where x degrees is the measure of the acute angle formed by lines K and M. So if K and M right now are forming a 40 degree angle, then we could go from green to red by a rotation about point P of 80 degrees clockwise. And that's going to be the same as doing these two reflections in intersecting lines. So quick summary. First, we have two reflections in parallel lines. And this is equal to a translation. Then we have two reflections in intersecting lines and this is equal to a rotation and this is twice the angle measure there we go now it's writing twice the angle measure of the angle formed by the lines. Okay, let's look at an example. Below is a composition of two reflections in intersecting lines. I want you to give me the single transformation that would map A, B, C, D, so that's your blue figure down here, on to A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, D double prime. That's your purple figure up here. So what will take us from the blue to the purple? Take a moment, this should be a fairly quick question to answer. Pause the video and resume when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, because this is a reflection in two intersecting lines, this is the same as a rotation and it is about point Y, which is the point of intersection, and it's of 110 degrees counterclockwise. Which is what is twice the angle measure here. So this angle is 55 degrees, so the angle, so the rotation transformation is 110 degrees. And that's the answer. Hopefully these videos made sense to you. If not, go back and review. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to email or ask me in class.